and welcome to Fun with Faster Payments Flag. I'm Liam Olson and we have Kevin Olson, aka the Payments Professor. And today we're going to talk about payments in Singapore. Yes. What is the name of Faster Payment System in Singapore? Well, Liam, you're not going to believe this, but the name of the Faster Payment System in Singapore is FAST. <laughs> Sorry, I laugh a lot. <laughs> For real? For real. They call the name of their Faster Payment System FAST. It's so funny. <laughs> Hashtag funny. Is it fast? It is fast. In fact, <laughs> the faster payment system is much faster than it used to be. It is a real-time, continuous, 24-7 system. And they, what they had before they had fast, it could take up to three business days for a transaction to take place. Fast is much faster than what they had before. How many transactions do they do a day? They do about 100,000 transactions a day. What? <laughs> How much money is that? That 100,000 transactions equals to about 200 million in value. Say what? What do you need to send money using FAST? Well, to be able to send money to somebody in Singapore, you do need their name because names, you know, are important to us as individuals. They're not always important, though, in banking systems. But the, the name is used to be able to validate the account and make sure we're sending it to the right person. Other than that, we do need the account number. Whereas most systems, you know, like here in the US, if I were to use something like Zelle, I can use just a phone number or an email address. But from what we've learned in studying the FAST system, we saw that it does require the account number. Do business use FAST? Businesses right now aren't using FAST. On top of the FAST system, they have what they call Pay Now, which is a service that's out there and available. It's similar to how we saw UPI with India. Well, Pay Now works on top of the FAST system, and it's getting a lot of adoption by consumers, but we haven't seen businesses adopt to it as much yet. And a lot of that has to do with the compliance regulations and requirements that are in place for businesses in Singapore. So we haven't seen mass adoption. However, I bring up Pay Now because there are upgrades that are happening to Pay Now to where we believe we will see more use by businesses in Singapore to use Pay Now. Can you use QR codes on apps? Yes, you of can. Of course. Of course, yes, you can use QR codes and QR codes should be another reason where we should see businesses start to use it more. And you can use apps as well. Now, what's really interesting is Singapore is near India, near China, which we've discussed in other videos and how fast and how you know efficient a lot of their systems are. And we discussed how China and India use WeChat to be able to send money back and forth, a chatting app. Well, in Singapore, they do allow the Chinese to be able to use the WeChat app to be able to send money back and forth. And we know that they're working to improve developments for being able to use the FAST system and being able to exchange money with each other. And we have something to say. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, ring the bell, and like or dislike. And tell us of other countries you really want us to talk about down in the comments below write anything like just not with bad words in it no bad words just put hashtags with your bad words okay hashtags hashtags okay thank you for watching fun with payments flags